Hi everyone, my name is Marcela Dominguez and I welcome you back to my channel. I wanted to talk to you today about DBAs. You see, I already created a video that explains the differences between a DBA and an LLC. I have had clients who ask, well, what if I want to amend my DBA? Let's say I'm not interested in filing for an LLC and I have already filed an assumed name certificate in my county, but things change. Let's say I want to add a new owner. Let's say I want to remove an owner. You know, people go into business together all the time and then decide that that partnership isn't going to work out or that it's better to be in a partnership when you decided to go at it solo. So there are lots of reasons why you may want to amend a DBA but the fact of the matter is that you cannot amend a DBA. So if you wanted to establish a new DBA with new owners, new partners, or remove any owners, then you would have to file a new DBA entirely. Currently, if you wanted to change anything about the way your DBA is established, there is no way to go back into the DBA and amend it or modify it. The county does not offer that option and there is no other option even through an attorney. So your best bet if you want to amend a DBA is to forget about it and file a new DBA with the new ownership structure that you'd like in place. Now, if you need to know more about the differences between a DBA and an LLC, then I invite you to watch the other video, which is linked down below. The reason it's so important for you to know about the differences between a DBA and an LLC is because there can be a lot at stake, a lot at risk, and the consequences can be much, much bigger with a DBA if you were to get sued. So a DBA essentially does not offer a lot of protection in terms of that shield that protects your business. So if you want more protection, then an LLC might be the way for you to go. But if you wanna learn more about an LLC and what exactly it means, then I invite you to watch the link down below where I explain in detail the differences between both. Now, again, if you are interested in filing for an assumed name certificate, also known as a DBA in your county, then you can visit your local county's website. If you are located in Texas, there is a way to file an assumed name certificate on the county website online. You can also go in person to the courthouse where you will have the ability to do that. But if you're a time saver like me, then more than likely you will want to do it online. If you're interested in learning more about trademarks, DBAs, and LLCs, then I invite you to subscribe, hit the red button down below so that you can be notified whenever I release new videos and new material. Remember, my goal is always for you to learn more than you knew when you started watching this video. Have a good day.